He chooses by himself. It picked this fox again, that TD, and here we are. First of the quarters of that tournament, March 2017. A night, Griffiths, Fox against Tilly Kong. Mark Breeze, Tilly yeah. Kong. And it was, it was the most impressive Tilly we've seen all day. Very held his, uh, hold his own very well against Fatality since the very last game where he kind of crumbled against him. The sheer pressure. We'll see if Griffiths is able to bring this home or if it will be one more French player going into the tomb. Very nice forward there. So the point is, last time I saw Griffiths Fox was, I think, this Tuesday. And he wasn't really on point on some of his punish. But well, we, did see, we did see it uh, earlier today, you know, against uh, Gidanzi. Uh, but I think that was uh, that the one... No, he used it also against uh, Pyongya. But also yeah, uh, in, in both cases, uh, the punishes were good, but not always optimal. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I saw him like play on, uh, on the on the weekly in Paris, and he wasn't really on point on tons of uh, of spinach. He would have, I think, work a lot on Diddy Kong on his weight of character. Yeah. So we'll see when he can do. We'll see. Let's try. But Magbury more than ready for the side B, and Magbury is playing playing the same, um, having the same game plan than against Fatality. Oh wow, jab jab up smash was not true with this uh, the hitbox on the jab. Yeah, so I was saying he just wanted to throw Fox on stage because it's too annoying to play the neutral game against him. To be honest with Diddy, so I just want him. Oh, uh, I just want him off. He's not even taking out a banana because uh, he realizes that if he gives uh, Griffiths an opportunity, he might get up smash and the chipper jab to dash up smash. I was referring to very good awareness from Griffiths getting that chipper jab. Definitely, he missed the first one, but not this one. Not this one. He recognized that knockback was like, okay, this is mine now. Okay, those kind of punish. Yeah. yeah. Whereas you have Tifa at this kind of percentage, uh, he, he didn't go for a second up tilt, which wasn't true. He went for a grab, which is usually what you should go for. But at this point, oh! No! Okay, Mybri saw that coming, slowly drifted away and did not jump into that forward. A very good awareness. Oh, he put that shine so far before. Yeah. And you have to, as we've seen, the shine takes some time to activate uh, before yep. the reflector activates. Oh. Nice grab. No. Nope. Must be very aware of that. Does not get the spike though. A bit, a bit hesitant, I'd say, on the punish. Like Magri is really good on his movement with uh, with uh, Didi. We saw that earlier, like moving around, making That's tons it. of dash shield rollback, dash shield rollback, running around, making some dash dance and stuff. But I feel like Griffith gets the advantage of the movement right now, always forcing Magri to act a certain way and then making the punish out of it. He knows that should be range. He knows. Okay. Why? What did that cancel at the edge? What the? I need an adult to explain to me why this happened. <laughs> like, he didn't hit anything, so why did it cancel? Anyway, moving on. Uh, oh, nice. Griff is getting those nice tomahawk. Wow, putting so much pressure. Going for the down, full of down air. Pressure on the platform. I like that. He's not in rush, but jumping a lot. Yep. He's punch that drop at the landing. Now in a terrible situation. Oh, okay. Situation. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Okay, he's getting those grabs. He's actually not doing an optimal job at ledge trapping, but he's usually catching uh, Magri's next option. After he gets off the edge, he manages to get grabs, dash attacks. But this time, though, Triffis is in a terrible spot, himself being stuck at the edge. No, nope, the side B. Wow. He let him hold the stage with even side B, though, and just finish in the end of Magri, unfortunately. Remember that Magri used to play. Um, Falco back in brawl, so he's very used to this uh, side B across the stage to try and reset the neutral game. The second thing also about... Oh! oh going super deep. Is it? No, not making it Falling back. down neutral air that way, really nice. Using that long headbox of his neutral air yep. just co to cover so many. A long straight line from the edge yeah. to the bottom. Really nice, really nice. And with how deep he was, I'm not sure Magby could have been a bit. Oh wow, the DI on the down chill. That's a free up smash. And with how light Fox is, that's a damn stock. Okay, forward there. So I feel like Griffith finds a lot of good punish at the, at the, at the first stock. But little by little, he only found grab and grab once again. So I don't know if he can find more than grabs, if he can still. Still a lot of personal oh, wow. still stuck at some Oh point. wow, yeah, Magbury picked the right option. Didn't want to give Griffiths an opportunity to tech, but did not execute correctly. So Griffiths is back on stage. No banana. As I was saying, when uh, when uh, Magbury doesn't have stage control, 
So there's no way he's wasting any time putting out the banana. He covered all those side B, man. He catched all of them. All of them. Oh, he saw the gun getting out. He ran for it. Once again. Oh, not oh no. Time. Very sloppy on his part. And he will pay for this very dearly. Oh my. Is this a stock? No, just barely leaving that. Dash up smash back here. There's no jump on. McBree is he aware of that fact? Oh, I'm a liar. He did have a jump. Very sorry. I love the point, like, he gets, he hit uh, Marbury with the side B because the side B is really fast, okay? I just delayed it just quite a bit oh! compared to the other ones! And this time, read that roll, but react nicely, not with a grab, with an up smash, and catch it. <laughs> and uh, Griff is jumping in his seat when he got that up smash, can you everything into it, like, if I miss that, I'm probably dead, but I'm rather sure I'll get that, so, very nice play, clutch game. Not sure about his pick. Probably going to stick with the Fox and Lissis until he loses one game, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah? I do agree, I think so. Or maybe if that's going to be a weird counter pick or something, but I do think he's going to is he, he gonna pick, uh, gonna stay his Fox. So, is this final destination? Okay, Smashville. We're back. Yeah. We're a small stage. I, I do get it. I, like, I'm not sure. I don't know the intricacies of the matchup, but I can really understand that because uh, as Diddy, uh, Magriff's game plan was put Griffiths off stage, and with one back throw, one forward throw, he might really be able to do that with how small Smashville is. So funny trivia: the stage, the stage came tonight. In between those two games, the stage is in night now. So oh I yeah, think this is late. <laughs> Very nice. Again, Griffiths is at the edge, Magri is happy, but sadly, he doesn't finish the landing. Whoa, oh. the roll gets red! Okay. And how, ol how old is uh, is this fox, did you tell me? Two weeks old? Yeah, something like that. Oh, oh. oh it drifts uh, drift in with that neutral, so it didn't really reach Magri. I think it was trying to cover one of those weird curves that Magri does. Okay. These uh, double jumps. I was wondering, he's not aiming at those down air at all. Yeah. <laughs> he just did one. I, I'm, I'm wondering how Griffiths will be able to use these double jumps as the set goes on because Didi has quite a plethora of options to, to use to stop that. Like, just just shut up fair. We'll uh, erase that and send Fox off stage without a double jump. Should be extremely careful. Oh! oh wh 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 why are you fr uh, hitting the... <laughs> The yeah, air, yeah, I'm yeah. not here. Yeah, unfortunately for Mabry, making that down tilt on the wrong way, I, w I would think he would have stopped the Fox by coming in. So it might have been the start, because earlier, like, uh, Griffith ran at him, he made that down tilt, and ma that made Griffith make a, yeah. made an horrible GI on that down tilt, so then the up smash just yeah, uh, very true. goes for him. So, could have been a start for Griffith and not Mabry there. Oh, too bad. Oh, okay. I was about to say too bad. Uh, Mabry definitely missed uh, an opening here. But uh, still, a uh, very cognizant of the situation, went for the immediate take chase. Wow, very nice with the up air to fast fall up tilt. I like these conversions. You wanted that stock too badly, man. Though. Okay, Odo can solve the down air, obviously very hard to punish that. You need to read the next option. Okay, simple down air. Easiest one. Okay, just trap at the edge. For now, Mabry is making a wall, man. He is making a wall. Griffith finally finding a tiny gap, but still getting back in that. Good thing for Griffith. He decided to use an aerial right here because it could have been a stock when Mabry went for the same setup he got on Fidelity earlier. Okay, uh -oh. nice down tilt. Yeah, cheaper down tilt will offer a lot of follow-up for Fox. No, I mean, this is a good range move also. Yeah, absolutely. Notable jump, Magri is getting pressured at the edge. How will he get down? Will he be able to play the patient game? Okay, goes for a cross-up back here. Oh. Barely alive. Oh! 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 Man! How dare you whip me with that tail? Ugly fox, take that! And so, yeah. Griffiths losing his stock for uh, trying to edge guard. Yeah, I was sure he was fishing with that up smash. He was waiting for that landing, really waiting, 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 and finally finding him on that side B. So one stock match between those two now. Uh oh. Late uh, side B could have led to something else, but Griffiths catching a lucky break. Okay. It's amazing, like, 
every time I get stage control, it's an image of Banana Apple, just to heighten uh, the number of his options. Oh, wow, super deep. No edge guard. Okay, Magri is very respectful. This double jump back here might actually have been just a bait. Not even tried to stage by Griffiths, but just force him into his, this roll at the edge. I know what you mean. Okay. Oh, nice shoulder. up oh, I couldn't get the punish there, I think. Force him to approach that blaster. Oh! Sorry, it. Okay. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, Griffiths knew at this point, obviously, this uh, single footstool won't be quite, quite enough to finish this stock. I need something else. Didn't get it, but didn't die for the attempt, so that's good enough. Magbris with the banana in hand was very ready to punish a side B, but this time will punish the landing with a doubt into up smash and Griffiths dropping that game. Let me see a character switch. Yeah, that was a nice delay try, I would say. Just he didn't do that like since earlier, but Mario was just like staying in his shield, like, yeah, and so what? You can't even jump, you can't even do anything. You won't move around, you won't, you won't, I just stay here. This is where Griffith could have used some weird stuff with uh, side B or a B or anything. But falling down because of that shield does not work. So now the counter pick of Griffith. The stage first. The Carter then. Will he stay Fox? Will he pick Mario? Bio? Let's see. We'll see. But nothing is sure yet. Nothing is sure. What do you think? What are your thoughts? In my opinion, at this point, with a 1 1, but the counter pick advantage, I would see uh, Griffiths going for a character switch. Uh, so it seems. Okay, Mario. All right. Yeah. Makes sense. There, there's no um, top level Mario in, uh, in Spain, and it's definitely a good pick against, uh, against Diddy in general. But as we've seen, uh, McBree was uh, very ready to play the neutral game without a banana in hand against Fox. And that's also how you, you're supposed, at least when you watch Zero, uh, supposed to play the neutral game against Mario. So he might actually have a good play style to counter this character counter from Griffiths. So, nice control by... Oh, nice read. Oh, brutal read. So yeah, beautiful by uh, by Griffith. Nice keeping the momentum. 91 person dealt. Dealt. Anyway. Now we're back to neutral and Margaret. This is where he's really good at. Neutral. Moving around. <laughs> it's it's really fun like oh Mike Breed just make always the movement and the defensive things. Yeah. Like always, 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 always. And if he does not make any movement. Oh wow, calling out that roll. Yeah, defensive, but uh do be careful when you pick his options. Definitely. So yeah, and if he's not moving, he's gonna throw some move just to cover the approach of his opponents. Often like that, I would say. And now it's just relentless. Griffith's making so much good read now, so much good punish. Keep, taking the momentum and keep it once again, 91%. I think this is exactly as the same as the previous stock. I'm a bit surprised by the Lilith pick. I would expect Didi to, to favor a, a very flat stage so that his fair can stuff most of uh, Mario, Mario's approaches, but for now it's not like it's that much of the stage being apart, but just. Griff is being so aware. I remember, all <laughs> remember also like Griffith was playing uh, Fox just earlier, so maybe he was picking Liliad for Fox. But even though, even though Griffith show a really great play during the World Tournament with Fox during on that stage. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that attack definitely not what Magri wanted. To. And mm. again, this roll. Oh, Griffith saw it coming and he tried to get it with the reverse of Smash, just barely misplaced it. So Griffith in a good lead right now. I'm sure. Changes his game plan. Does not uh, actually want Mario off stage because it's very hard to edge guard him. But he will take an up throw to a pair just to get his banana out. Forcing him to act a bit. Forcing him to act. So many defense moves. But right now, as Griffith in the lead, just trying to throw out moves oh, pretty safely. Clean, yeah. But just forcing Marbury to approach and punish it. 
That was actually a super clean oh, oh. Uh, setup from uh, Mark Bree, but Griffiths was barely able to avoid the platform and a certain death on the charge of Smash. Uh oh, up chest out of shield, big damage coming up. Mark Bree getting pressured on the platform. With a clean double jump and managing to head up safely to the ground. And if that's Rage, he wanted some. Uh some tiny weird stuff, we know, we know. Oh, with that stage shielded oh, out, wow. the jab did not connect with each other, I would say. Uh, yeah, Mabry basically wanted that back here because... Um, oh, wow, oh, very nice. Oh, that up That was uh, as a good call for Griffith, but as, as a wonderful call as Mabry. Yeah, okay, now without rage. Again, reading that back roll. Mabry has been going for this quite a lot, and Griffith is more than ready to finish it. This time going with a grab. Oh wow, again! Griffiths a bit unhappy, we could see. <laughs> I'm mad now, I'm charging smashes. Oh. He's calling the roll, he's calling out the roll. Yeah, it's good to call things, but. And the, and the yes. textures also, he's calling them out, all of them. Knowing what's gonna happen, knowing his choice, not letting him go, and boom! Here we are, two stocks. Super deep second back here. Really had a nice setup there with the, the first one forcing an air dodge and the second one frame trapping with Mark Bree. You can see Mark Bree on his phone, thinking about his options. He's asking his coach right now. Oh, he might just be, you know, reading his notes. Whatever. We are going right into it. <sighs> thinking, they're thinking. Waiting. Oh. Could we see a counter pick from Magri himself? Like His character, I, you mean? Uh, yeah, I do. It, like he has a, a fox, as I've mentioned. Uh, he has. I'm pretty sure he has a cloud, and cloud is a good pick against Mario. But honestly, I, I'm a bit surprised, as I said, by uh, the stage counter pick. I was uh, feeling like he was getting cornered on the platforms when he got stuck on them, and uh, the, just the tilting. He wanted to roll away, but at some times it saved him because uh, Mario's up smash go went over him, but didn't feel like the stage helped him in any way. So maybe another stage before thinking about a character uh, switch. That's apparently what's happening. Smashville. Okay, we're back staying, sticking to their own characters, just going back on Smashville. And here we are, here we are. One of those last chance of Marbury. It it's not allowed at any mistake right now. He needs yeah. to win. He That's needs to win. Turn the race is over. Oh, this is a follow-up. Down throw is actually a, a great uh, combo starter at low percent, but uh, on DI out, on DI is out, it is less. Um, you have to know you your mix up. You can't go uh, for the usual back air like on a up throw. So many back draw from Griffith, always trying to get behind his TD. Finally oh, finding wow. his way and struggling with him. Okay. Okay. Well, that hurt. But now Magri is back on the ground. Sadly dropped his banana somewhere. It cannot help him now. Oh wow, red zap from so far away. And still catching the landing, man. It's like Griffith is only moving with rolls or with aerials, <laughs> man. Only. <laughs> exactly, I just said, like, to reset his pacing, it just rolled away. <laughs> it's very true, I didn't notice that. He's not walking, he's barely oh, dashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just forcing Mybrid to act at some point. I don't know what he's looking for. I don't know what is his answer, what happens in his head to, to make those choices. Yeah. That's scary situation. Mybrid went for a very unconventional recovery, very smart. Look at that shark. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh! Okay! That came right in the face, you banana! Eat it, man! Eat it, you monkey! Fall on the ground, on my feet! Headbutt, that's it! Beautiful. Very nice. A smash right next to the head, but not quite enough. Mark Green nearly caught the best break he could at this point. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. This is going to hurt. Did you there? All right, didn't go for, like, couldn't extend the combo on the platform using just a full hop controller, a landing controller, I'm sorry. Too bad the, the re-grab mechanics, because I think he had that re-grab, and unfortunately as he couldn't really re-grab an opponent because he just grabbed it, Yeah. that didn't work. But that was uh, a good call, though. 
Uh, Magri is trying, is starting, sorry, to switch things up uh, when he's using, uh, you know, he's moving away from Griffiths to reset his pacing. Uh, up until now, he had been going for rolls. Oh, once again, the 40 didn't want that. Uh oh, no, obviously not it, but still a sick, scary situation. Oh, Magri. What a battle on that edge, what a battle. Uh oh, my stage, get out of here. Waiting a bit. Oh, no try right now. Unfortunately, on the mistake, didn't really t uh, had the time to react and put that up yeah. smash out of it. I think he trusted uh, Magbury's ability to take and tried. Oh, wow. Cool follow up. I don't think Magbury wanted that uh, forward there. Probably wanted a reverse back air. Okay. This is tense. If Magbury takes this stock, he can still make it work. If he loses it, though. It's going to be super tough because I'm not sure uh, up to it with a great will kill. And Saibi takes it. All right. He's back into it. He's got the banana in hand. 100%. Cannot get hit by a slightly charge up smash. I feel but like Griffith was staying always at a certain uh, spacing, like really a really certain one. And oh! Okay. Yeah, okay. So he was st staying at a certain spot always. And it was just like this kind oh, of wow. spot. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. <laughs> always just moving around. So at those... Uh, to keep that distance, and Magri knows and just run at it, throwing that side V at some point because always staying and making those chill and those rollback where he was like, no more, no more. That was a beautiful side V because of that, I would say. He's gonna hurt, the double jump is gone, sadly, and Griffey saw that, but the follow up was very, rather poor. Oh. Okay, very nice. Thanks so for, for the full up uh, fireball. Interesting mix ups. Oh, what? Roll out of the way. Probably wasn't sure exactly what hit, what move Magri was using. Okay. Nice. Wow. Uh, this is so funny because Griffith just, he, he had the, at the exact moment where he lost his stock, he just changed his play style. Yeah. And he began to be way more aggressive. Oh, you were waiting for me. I was waiting for you for the whole time. Now, can that neutral air, will it be it? I no. Think, yeah, I think Magri is making me back up. So yeah, he's starting to be really more aggressive, really more, always wow. trying to make those walls, sticking to it, and punishing that get up with that headbutt, and this is it! 3-1 for Griffith, getting to that Sami, losers! Nice! Very impressive, that Mario pick definitely worked out. Not sure what is it, is it like the perfect, uh, did he read Mark Bree's options and uh, habits when he played Fox? Is it just Magbri's inexper relative inexperience against Mario? Anyway, it was a very convincing last game. Griffiths will be moving on to lose the surmise.